All right, let me plug in my mic here. And I think we're ready to go. Yep, sounds like it. Okay, great, perfect. Welcome everyone to a new, where's my ball? A new 30 day challenge here where we're gonna get back into doing yoga and curing my addiction or maybe making it worse. I don't know which one's gonna happen, but we're gonna find out today. So let's, of course, I hope everyone's having a good one wherever, whenever, wherever you're watching this. We're running a bit late, but it's a short episode, only 15 minutes a day. So we will be doing that, getting starting it slow and short. Well, I actually don't know if it's going to be slow or short, but it's definitely going to be. Um, we're definitely being. <laughs> All right, let me go ahead and... I think these are the right ones. Yeah, these one, this one. And let's do the watch together links, which are in chat now. And then also on Twitch. Yeah, here we go. Watch together. If you want to do yoga with me, click those links. And if you don't want to do it, well, you can just watch me do it. So let's get started with this 15 minute yoga. Yoga Fix 30. 30 days to get your yoga fix, creating your healthy habits. She's waving at me. Nice and tall. Close your eyes. Begin to breathe in and out through. Well, we're starting straight up. Okay, let's go. Restriction in the back of the throat as you breathe. Bring hands together. We're going to start with an affirmation today. What's our affirmation? I have permission to be all that I can be, and I deserve the very best in life. I'm trying my hardest to be the best I can be. Grab a yoga block, so have two blocks handy and a strap. I don't have either of those things. And just notice as you lie down here for a moment. If your back side is, you bend the knees and put the feet on the floor. Otherwise, extend the legs and now start to notice the natural curves in your spine. So you have a little lift in your lower back away from the mat. Your the natural curves in my spine. The back of your neck is lifted. And also your hips are touching. You want to try to keep that and notice your rib cage. I guess we're finding our neutral back. As, well. so as you inhale, start to lift the arms up and overhead. There's a tendency for your rib cage to pop up and your low back to over arch. So draw that in and lengthen sitting bones to heels. Exhale, hands down by your sides. Grab a block and take your hands on either side. Inhale, start to lift the arms up and over in line with the ears without letting your rib cage pop up. You might not be able to bring the arms all the way back. Exhale, bring the block back down. We don't have a block. And then inhale, reach the arms up and over as you continue to draw front ribs down and lengthen sitting bones to heels. Keep the toes pointed up to the ceiling. Exhale, arms back down, take the block down. And one more time, let's inhale, sweep the arms up. So if you can't take it all the way by the ears, just stop where you can while you can keep the ribs down and low back lengthening. I think we're doing it. And then take one more breath here as you stretch the arms, let the shoulder blades release toward the waist and exhale. Take the arms back down, put the block off to the side. I'm just going to go over a couple basics today. Bend the knees. Roll to your right. So this is a way to carefully come up. Use your left hand. We're going to roll to our left. Head come up last. And now we'll, we'll roll forward onto hands and knees. Then walk okay. your hands in front of your shoulders about a handprint. Actually, I want to be this way. Take your hips all the way back to heel. <laughs> I actually want to be this way. Time. You can always push pause and take it. As you inhale here, come forward onto hands and knees, drop the belly, lift your chin and tailbone up. Then exhale, round the back chin toward chest, take your hips all the way back toward the heels. So again, little longer breath. So as you inhale, oh, again, coming forward, drop the belly, lift the chin and tailbone up, bring the chest forward, exhale, round the back, press away from the floor and take hips back toward heels. 
And again, even a longer breath if you can. Inhaling through the nose as long as you can. Drop the belly, bring the heart forward through the gates of the arms, lift chin up. Exhale, press away from the floor, lift the ribs and belly in and up and take hips back to heels as you exhale. One more time. Inhale, coming forward. But this time we'll tuck the toes coming into a modified down dog. Keep your knees bent, keep your hips way up high in the air. Stretch out your spine and then start to straighten the legs as much as they will. Now look forward and walk your feet as many steps as you like to hands. Inhale, hands to shins, lengthen your spine, look up. Exhale, fold forward, bend the knees as much as you need to. Rooting down through the feet, inhale, reach up. Arms in line with yours. Watch that the ribs don't pop out. So keep the ribs in, lengthen through the lower back. Exhale, bring the hands down, come to the front of the mat in Tadasana. Feet together or hips width apart. Draw the belly in. Inhale, sweep the arms up again. Watch the rib cage, watch the lower back that you're not overarching. Exhale, fold, keep your spine long. Crown of the head reaching down, bend the knees if you need. Inhale, halfway up, lengthen your spine, look up. Exhale, fold, crown of the head toward the floor, bending knees as needed. Press through the feet, inhale, reach up with a nice long spine, stretching tall ribs in. Exhale, hands to hearts. And again, <sighs> sweep the arms up. Remember to keep the lower back lengthening. Exhale, fold, hinging from your hips. As you inhale, come halfway up, lengthen your spine, look up. As you exhale, bend the knees, plant the palms, and come to plank, top of a push-up. It's planking time. Make sure that you're lifting up and back. So your hips and shoulders are in line. Now take your knees down, shift forward, lower all the way down slowly to your belly. Untuck the toes, hands by low ribs, peel up for cobra. Then tuck the toes, press back to the knees, and stretch into downward dog. Knees can be bent or straight. And for this one, feel free to bicycle the legs, bending one knee and the other. Make sure arms are shoulders distance apart and feet are hips width. Stretch back in your dog, down dog for a breath. Press into the base of your fingers. Then look forward. Walk your feet to hands. Inhale, hands to shins. Look up. Exhale, fold. Press through the feet. Rise up as you inhale. Look up and lengthen. Exhale, bring hands to heart. Inhale again. Sweep the arms up. Exhale, hinge from your hips and fold over your legs. As you inhale, look up to lengthen. Exhale, step into plank pose, top of a push-up. Knees up or down, lower chaturanga. Then inhaling to cobra or up dog. Rise and knees off the floor if you're an up dog. Exhale, back into down dog. So the first one we did was modified. The second one wasn't. If the second one is too much for you, stick with modified. Next inhale, lift your right leg back and up. And lift the hip for a moment and then exhale, bring it to right down the center, shoulders over wrists, and then step the right foot up by the right hand. Spin the back heel down, line up heel to arch, warrior two. Make sure your right knee is over your ankle and points in line with the middle toes. Lift the chest, let your shoulder blades release away from the ears. Then drop the left arm, reverse your warrior, so side stretch. Inhale, come up. Exhale, cartwheel the arms down. Make your way to down dog. You can go right into it or come to plank first and lower chaturanga, knees up or down. Inhale, pressing into up dog or stick with cobra. Exhale, back into down dog. Inhale, left leg lifts. You can open the hip, feel, see what that feels like. Most of the time, we'll keep the hips level. Exhale, bring the knee down the center, shoulders over wrists, and then step the left foot right in the middle of the hand. Spin the back heel down, lining heel to arch. Inhale, open up warrior two. Shoulders are above the hips. Make sure your knee is above your ankle. Press into the front heel and through the outer edge of your back foot as you breathe here. Gently lift your back inner thigh up toward the ceiling. Drop the right arm reverse, bend into the left knee a little bit, then inhale, come up, windmill the arms down, so you can go right into down dog or make your way to plank first, exhale through chaturanga, inhale, shoulders over wrists and up dog, exhale, lift the hips, stretch all the way back into downward dog, remember, anytime you want to break, you can take your knees down, child's pose, and push the thighs button. Look forward, step your feet to the hands. Inhale, hands to shins, lengthen. 
exhale, fold. Press through the feet, rise up as you inhale. Look up, lengthen, ribs in. Exhale, hands to heart. Turn toward the long side of the mat, step out nice and wide. Turn your right leg all the way out, back toes in. Arms at a T, and then bend that right knee over the ankle. This time, lean forward, right forearm to right thigh. Reach the left arm up and over. So spin the left tricep down. If you want to go deeper, you can take the right hand to the little toe side of the foot or to your block and stretch from your fingertips all the way through the outer edge of your back foot. Inhale back to warrior two. Straighten the leg. Now, hinge from the front hip. We'll come into triangle pose. So reaching out and down, right hand to the shin or foot or to your block. Stretch through the left arm. Bottom ribs come forward. Spin top ribs back and press into the big toe mound of your right foot as you draw the right hip under you. Then inhale to come up. Bring your feet to parallel, left leg out, back toes in. Go a little wider if you fit into stance for triangle pose. Down the knee, warrior two, then lean forward, taking the forearm to thigh, reach the right arm up and over. Spin the tricep down. If you want to go deeper, left hand to the floor on the little toe side of the foot or to your block, or you can hold on to your ankle. I like to do that a lot. Try to stretch out the bottom side of the torso as if you were turning your belly button up toward the ceiling. Then come back up, straighten the front leg. Little shorter stance for triangle if you like. Hinge from the front hip, reach, reach, reach out and down. Left hand to shin, foot, floor, or block. Stretch up through the right arm. Look up toward the right fingertips, but if it bothers your neck, look forward or down. Press into the big toe mound of the left foot as your left hip draws underneath you. Mount we are sweating back up against a wall look down to come up as you inhale bring your feet to parallel hands to hips look up inhale hinge from your hips forward fingertips down lengthen inhale exhale Pull forward any amount make sure to pull up on your kneecaps firm your quadricep muscles pin your outer hips and inner thighs in as if you're holding <sighs> a giant beach ball between the inner thighs then shift your weight toward the balls of the feet just a bit take another long breath then halfway up inhale exhale hands to hips inhale come up with a nice long spine step your feet together and turn back to the front of your neck <sighs> Back to Tadasana. Inhale, bend the knees, come to chair pose. Then exhale, belly to thighs, straighten the legs any amount. Look up as you inhale. And exhale, step to plank. And lower through Chaturanga, knees up and down. Inhale, close the dog. And exhale, tuck the toes into plank pose. Maybe add another Chaturanga if you like. And then to down the dog. Otherwise, you can plank. Right leg lifts, inhale. Exhale, step it up by the right hand. Stay on the ball of your back foot and come up into high lunge. Bend your back knee, push your pelvis forward. Pull the right hip back, straighten the back leg. Remember that the low back, we don't want it to over arch. So draw the front ribs in, lift up through the back ribs and lengthen through the lower back. Exhale, bring the hands down. Make your way to down dog, either through chaturanga and up dog on your inhale. Oh, okay, Just yeah. Right into down dog and stay. Even add an extra chaturanga if you'd like. Oh. Inhale, lift it from the inner thigh. Mm. Exhale, step it up by the left thumb. Stand the ball of your back foot. So take a moment to bend the back knee. Tilt your pelvis forward a little. And now straighten it as you pull your left hip back. So hips are nice and level. Stretch up through arrow straight arms. Double check and make sure they're straight. Spinning triceps forward. Take another breath here. I feel really strong today, like super strong today. Through Chaturanga, or just go right into it, inhaling to press up. Exhale back to down dog. Maybe I had enough protein yesterday. It is day one. We just want you to ease into it. So if it's too much, just take a rest. Up through to seated, and then lie on your back, bent heels underneath, pressing into bridge and just keep your palms pressing down, but do spiral your thighs in toward each other. Make sure the outer edges of your feet are parallel, and keep reaching your sitting bones toward the backs of your knees. Keep chin away from chest. Breathe steadily. And then slowly lower down. 
and hug your knees into your chest. You know, but not here. Just gently rock yourself side to side, and then open up into happy baby. So grab the little toe sides. Of oh, it's been so long since we've done happy baby. Your legs instead. But lengthen your sitting bones toward the heels. Now straighten out the right leg any amount. Keep the left knee bent. And switch them left, leg straightens out, right knee stays bent. And now maybe stretch both legs out. Then bending both knees, hug them in. Take the feet to the floor, rolling off the knees to the right. Look over to the left for a little twist. Now if you want a deeper twist, you can cross the right knee on top of the left. I think that's the right knee on top. Come back to center. Hips to the left a little, knees to the right. And you can cross the left knee over the right if you want a little deeper twist. Keep turning your belly up toward the ceiling. Now come back to center as you inhale. Hug the knees in one more time. Lengthen your sitting bones toward the floor to stretch out your spine. And now we'll make our way into Shavasana, our final resting position. Yep, let's rest. Lengthen sitting bones towards the backs of the heels. Let your feet flop open, arms by your sides, palms up. Close your eyes and rest. Resting time. As you're settling in, I have a quote from D. Simone. So if you're joining us in the new year, this is a nice New Year's quote, and it rhymes. It's not the new year, it's the end of the year. May light always surround you, hope kindle and rebound you. May your hurts turn to healing, your heart embrace feeling. May wounds become wisdom, every kindness a prism. May laughter infect you, your passion resurrect you. May goodness inspire your deepest desires. Through all that you reach for, may your arms never tire. Just rest. I'll be back in a moment. Start to make movements and fingers and toes. Wiggle those toes. Legs. Take a nice long stretch and then bend the knees. Roll yourself off to your right side for a moment and then slowly use your left hand to come up to seated. Sitting up nice and tall. Bring your hands together in front of the heart. Bring hands to forehead to remind us to have clear and loving thoughts. Hands to the heart, reminding us to have clear and loving intentions. And the hands to the mouth, reminding us to have clear and loving intentions, sending out positive energy to all beings everywhere. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a Ooh, wonderful that was quick, wasn't it? I didn't have time. That was so fast. I didn't have time to look at chat. So join us at Patreon because we would love for you to join. Hello. We'll have extra classes. In it, I'll, I'll call. I'll call you in it. Well, thank you for stopping by. And there we go. That's our first day of our very short yoga journey. Uh, another yoga. Our yoga fix is uh, the 30 day yoga fix challenge that we are following. I will see you again tomorrow for day two. Coming after this is going to be before coffee. Thursday's 13. And later today, I will be playing some Fallout London. I hope you guys have a good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are. Subscribe. Like my video. Comment down below how much you love my abs. Namaste, bitches. Woo. Quick and easy. Quick and easy. Oh, whoa, gotta go fast. My dad's already awake waiting for me. Like, I, <laughs> I woke him up early. So, I will see you on before coffee on Allie Ross channel.